Maelstrom here. Welcome back to more Banjo Kazooie. In the last episode, we started our adventure after having our sister Tootie kidnapped by the evil witch Gruntilda. We made our way to her mountain lair and opened the gate to the first world, Mumbo's Mountain. And in this episode, we are going to go to Mumbo's Mountain. Here we are. The mighty Mumbo's Mountain. It serves the uh It serves being a first world very well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. So, Bottles tells us that there are three new moves for us to learn here. And I know where all of them are. Of course, I, I know where everything in this game is. Including this! This is a Jinjo! Yippee! You saved me! Gruntilda has imprisoned five of us Jinjos on each world! Free yourselves and get a Jiggy! Yes, they will give you a Jiggy if you find all five of them in each world. We have a silver skull right here. Me Mumbo's token used for Mumbo magic. Okay, whatever a Mumbo is. So yeah, it's a good thing that we picked that up. Now, first things first, I want to climb up the staircase and go to the top of Mumbo's Mountain. Which is not very big, to be honest. And here we are! The top of Mumbo's Mountain! What have you got to say? We told you Bumble's totem pole. Feed us with nice blue stones. Well, I don't have any stones to feed to you, Juju. And I got to admit, that's a pretty bad name. I mean, you don't see any people ar going around with the names like Christian Christian or Muslim Muslim. But you got Juju, so why not? We have another Mumbo token down here. I don't worry, I saw that jigsaw. We will come back for it. I will be 100%ing the entire game, so don't worry. Yes, 100%ing. And actually, I would go so far as to say it's 101%ing. You guys will see what I mean. But enough about me. Let's talk to this pile of dog poop. Just kidding, it's bottles. I call this the Beak Buster. Jump into the air, then press Z to send Kazooie slamming hard down to the floor. Nope. I don't like the sound of that, Banjo. Get used to it, Ness Girl. You'll be using it a lot. So now we have learned the Beak Buster, the Banjo Kazooie equivalent to Mario's Ground Bound. And Bottles was completely in the right there. We are going to be using this a lot. And. We can see Mumbo's Mountain is very slippery. Bottles tells us that there is a move here then that he can teach us to get around steep slopes. But first, let me grab this Jiggy. You must search for ten of us on each world! We'll help you progress through the witch's lair! Oh god. As I said, get used to every single thing that you pick up talking. When you're ready to leave this world, return to the start area and stand on the exit pad. Now, I won't be doing that until I 100% the each world, so yeah. Now, here comes another thing that is the, that is the Banjo Kazooie series is famous for. Collecting musical notes! I'm a note, one of a hundred on each world. Collect us to open the note doors. We don't know what a note door is yet, but it is important. There is a hundred in each single world of this game. Now, I bet you're wondering, we do get to keep the, the progress on notes we made if we leave the world, right? In this version of the game, no, no. The N64 version is the man's version of the game. Not like that kitty watered down Xbox Live version. No. This version is, is tough because if you leave a world by getting, by just leaving the world or dying, you will lose all note progress that you made. And you, the, the number of notes that you had when you died will basically be the number that you keep. He says to leave his honey comes along. along. This enemy is an enemy that cannot hurt you. This honeycomb, this uh, hive enemy. He cannot hurt you, and if you kill him, you get three honeycomb energy things out of him. Which is very nice. Also, invincible enemy over here called Big Butt. You don't want to mess around with him because he will charge at you if you get close. And no matter how many times you knock him down, 
he will always get back up. Speaking of ugly guys, we got a big old Granita over here. Sakozo! Sakozo! <laughs> and he will throw oranges at you! Okay, that's two common rider references in five seconds. I gotta tone it down. Yeah, so he basically throws oranges at you. And you bet, I bet you're wondering, what do we gotta do with those obvious orange shaped blocks on the floor there? It's not that hard to figure out, honestly. All you gotta do is make him hit the box, and sure enough, we get a jigsaw! Clever bear find Conga's gold! Don't worry, I will, as I said, I will be 100%ing each world. And if you think any of these characters are going to be iconic and we're going to be seeing a lot of them in this game, nope, after you leave a world, you're never going to be seeing any of the same characters again except for the main characters. Chimpy hungry! Once orange now! Feed Chimpy! Okay, I suppose I can do that. So, I never figured it was able to figure this out as a kid until... until after a while. We can take the orange right off of Konga's tree. I thought we had to get one of the oranges he was throwing. And yes, the orange talks to you. I'm gonna name you Kota. And here you go. Now Kota is food. Oh, Chippy like Konga's orange. Chippy help fat bear and bird. Well, excuse me. I guess think it's a good thing to be fat. Because fat sounds awesome. Let's get fat. And yes, we have now have three jigsaws. That is quite fast. If I were playing this game for speed, though, I I'd probably already be mostly done with this world. Uh, here's another molehill. I bet you're wondering what those eggs were talking about as using them as ammo. Well, we're about to find out. Time for the buzzer to learn the ancient ways of the egg. I'm listening, Beetle Breath. Hold C, then press the top C button to shoot an egg out of your mouth. Hey, sounds cool. Anything else? Sure. Press the bottom C button and then you can shoot them out from behind. Yeesh. Sounds painful. I wish I'd never asked. You're going to be doing that a lot, Kazooie. We can carry up to 100 eggs and the control stick to move while crouching. Exciting, huh? Go home, Chugga. Okay, well, now that we've gotten some more things, we can explore around the fountain a bit more. Here we have a witch switch. If we slam down on this switch, a jiggy will appear somewhere in Gruntilda's lair. Always remember to look for a witch switch before you leave the world. It's important as those are the... <laughs> as Aside from the first jiggy you get in the game, those are the only ways you can get jiggies in Gruntilda's lair. And if we go over here... Be safe here. Bear can't hit Conga. Guess again! <laughs> Egg hurt, Conga! Wow, you are a terrible aim, sir. And now you are a dead sir. Except not really. <laughs> bear be Conga, me give prize to bear. Wow! Having three eggs thrown against you. I wouldn't say that egg throwing really hurts, but then again, I do think that some people who are familiar with Banjo-Kazooie know how much it hurts to be getting hit by eggs. <laughs> Tiny Duke! <laughs> and I don't feel like dealing with you today. So yeah, but even if he's stunned, if you go up and touch him, you will take damage, so don't do that. I bet you're wondering why I'm still crouching. It's because I'm used to being able to do something after crouching, which we're about to see right about now. If we go up here and get some notes here. This reminds me of something I did as a kid. I would, like, recite... Cr spontaneously create lyrics to the Banjo-Kazooie songs from memory. I'd had one for each world, and they were god off. I mean, I may sing one of these down the road, so I am so sorry if any of that happens, because I, I barely remember them as they will. So now, Bowser's is teaching us about the Talon Trot. That sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold Z, then press the left C button. Continue to hold Z while moving, because we're around with the control stick. And there's nothing more we can learn in this world. So we've learned all the new moves. Yes, uh, by using the Talon Trot, we move oh, actually a lot faster than we would by just running around as Banjo. 
And here we have another Jiggy. That's already half the Jiggies in the world. There's only a few more, honestly. So, let's grab this Ikumbokum over here. I, that's, I named that after the sound they make. I'm sure a lot of people do the same. And I wonder, can we finish this whole world in one video? Because if we can, this is never going to happen again, because Mumbo's Mountain is by far the shortest world and easiest. Man! We got a Jinjo! Hooray! Got some tickers over here. These are the termite enemies. Yes, I know all the enemy names. Oh my gosh, I'm a nerd. So yeah, and there are also notes over here. And another Jinjo on this slope here. So before we uh, mess around, I want to collect everything on this slope. Oh no, I think I feel it coming on. Oh no! Ticker's Tower, Ticker's Tower, that is at Mumbo's Mountain. Oh, Ticker's Tower, Ticker's Tower, that's at Mumbo's Mountain. There's also an orange tree that we get gorgeous from, and hit the gorilla on top and top to the gym. People get close fat, and then we will do some stuff. That we will do some stuff at Mumbo's Mountain. That's what goes on at Mumbo's Mountain. Da 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 Mumbo's Mountain. Mumbo's Mountain, everyone's running at Mumbo's Mountain. Ticker's Tower, Ticker's Tower, that's what's at Mumbo's Mountain. I am so sorry. I am not a good lyricist as a kid. And even now, I'm not a good lyricist. Yeah, so no bears allowed in Ticker's Tower, but we can get another Ecom Tokum in here, as some people would call it. Ecom Bokum, I used to call them that Ecom Bokums. Oh, wow, I used the Claw Swipe Attack. But the Claw Swipe Attack is pathetic, because watch. Uh, I said Claw Swipe Attack. I said the Claw Swipe Attack is pathetic, because it can't even one-shot these enemies. And now if you'll excuse me, I... That is why you don't ever use the Claw Swipe Attack. I should have listened to my own advice from last episode. Now, as I was saying. Anyway, oh, another thing. If you're low on energy or out of energy anywhere, if you go see Bottles, he will up fill, fully fill up your energy for you, which is very nice. There's also another character in the game that does that in Gruntilda's Lair, but we have not met that character yet. Uh, we already got that jigsaw. I'm uh, gonna collect some notes over here. I promise I won't sing the Mumbo's Mountain song again. Probably because those those are <laughs> those horrible songs are probably recorded over on the original cassette tapes that they were, or lost to history. I can only recall them from memory now, which is just as bad, if not worse, than the original. Okay. Well, either way, we are just about done here. Um. Oh yeah, we got plenty of time to finish this wor entire world in this episode, so let's go ahead and get this. We can get five notes from the first hut that we destroy with the Beak Buster. So yeah, now you can see why I love this game. Uh, I, I, I really love collectathons, all the old rare ones. Banjo, Suey, Banjo 2, Donkey Kong 64. I've never actually play, gotten the chance to play Conker's Bad Fur Day yet. Speaking of Conker's Bad Fur Day, 69 eggs. <laughs> why? Because that game is highly interesting. Yeah, I would love to play that then the chance. I mean, I have seen a copy for sale, but it was like $50 or $100 or stuff. That is expensive. And no way am I getting a crappy Xbox so I can just... Okay, particularly Xbox is like crappy, but no way I'm getting an Xbox 360 just so I can play the crappy reboot. Yeah, that's pretty much all Rare does is make new versions of their old games now. But then again, <laughs> Nintendo would be one to talk if they said that. Yeah, we can... Uh, the Blue Stones jo Juju was talking about was, of course, the little uh, eggs. So we go ahead and feed them to Buddhist Buddhist, and there we're done. Okay, see you later, Hindu Hindu. Okay, I'm really sorry. I should stop making terrible jokes. But then again, that is kind of what I'm known for. That and just being a nobody. Since nobody knows about me. Uh, uh, believe it or not, I'm recording this a few days after just a few days after I have finished playing Skyward Sword. <laughs> Believe it or not. And also, I want to get this Jigsaw! Because this will be the ninth Jigsaw in this level, and we will be pretty much done after this. 
And let's go ahead and visit, go inside this skull. I'm sure there's something really bad inside. Well, there certainly is something inside. Notes! And a sleeping guy. I'm pretty sure that sleeping guy isn't anybody important. Let's just, uh, collect everything that belongs to him and then get out of here. So, we're gonna steal all the eggs that he keeps in the rafters. That's another thing about this, these skulls. You always want to check the rafters, because there's usually stuff up there that you need. And here we go. Me, Mumbo, best shaman in all game, can help Banjo and Filthy Feathered One. Watch it, hot boy! Mumbo's magic tokens hid by witch. Find tokens, and Mumbo help you. Ah, Banjo has plenty tokens. Stand on skull and press B to see mighty Mumbo magic. So yeah, this is Mumbo Jumbo, the shaman of the game. Uh, if we collect Mumbo tokens and take them to him, in certain in certain worlds, he will be able to help us out. How does he help you out? Well, he hits you with his magic. So, what exactly does his magic do? We're about to find out! <laughs> Mumbo's magic free to change back. You come when ready. Termite bit small, but not bad for first spell. Mumbo practice needed. Okay, well, yes, this is the first transformation, a termite. With this, he will be able to uh, converse with the termites outside Tigger's Tower. Uh, there's nothing really special about the termite. All it can do is move and jump. But there is one thing that it excels at that Banjo cannot do. What is that? Watch and learn. Normally, you couldn't even tell Antron up this slope. Termite says bullshit to that. Termite can walk up pretty much any wall. Yeah, so Termite Banjo is really helpful to have around. And I like some of the stuff that the uh, other tickers say to you when you go up to them. Uh, if there's still one out here. Uh, yes. Of course, you can still take damage if you touch them. So be careful. Hey, where did you get those shorts? I want them! No, you can't. Because if you took off my shorts, then this game wouldn't be rated E. But then again, there are already lots of things that make this game questionably rated E. And you? <laughs> Give me that cool backpack or else! Well, excuse me, but my partner lives in this backpack. And I am not going to give uh, my bird over to some... Termite. Yeah. Because termites are termites. And we have collected 100 notes in this world. Every time we do that, we get an extra life. Like, we need that. Because the only time you're going to see me die in this game is if it's for speedrunning tactics or I mess up really bad somehow. But I Excuse me! I was collecting eggs! I was just collecting eggs! You didn't have to go and hit me! Why do you have to be such a jerk? That's what the I wish I could kill you so bad, but it's impossible to get here as Banjo, so I cannot. Alright, so yes, we can't get up this termite mound without the termite transformation. Get another extra life here. And atop the termite mound is the last Jiggy of this world! Once we get it... Okay. I got a little carried away there, but... Nonetheless, we have now 100% in this world. If we go to our total, we can see that it has taken us only 18 minutes to fully complete Mumbo's Mountain. That's nothing to be proud of. I bet there are some speedrunners out there who can do it in, like, 5 minutes. 100% and all. But I digress. We're done here. Now, I bet you're wondering. I'm not able to leave this world as the transformation, am I? Yes, I am. Grunty's magic stops you from taking the notes off the world, but the 100 you just collected counts as your best note score. Try to get 100 on each world as they are needed to open the note doors. There we go again, mentioning note doors. And also, there was a jigsaw up here that we can only get with the termite to scale the steep slope of this mini mountain. And also, every time you go into a world, uh, there will be baddies outside from that world. So yeah, that's about it. Another thing I want to talk about, I think it was originally a, like a glitch or something in this game. An accident that, um... 
you couldn't take the notes outside the world. But I'm not 100% sure about that, so don't quote me on that. Mumbo magic get weak. Animal turn back or magic go. And if we keep going, magic all gone. Must go back to Baron Bird now. Yes, there's, we can only take the transformation out past a certain point. When you open a world door, baddies escape and roam, roam once more. Exactly what, what I said earlier, Gruntilda was explaining. Of course, but that was pointless because, I don't know, that's just one of the random things she says throughout her layer. But now that the Talon Trot, we can get up this slope. So yeah, N64 version is a lot harder than the dumbed down and horrible Banjo-Kazooie version on the Xbox Live Arcade. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We now have what appears to be a door with musical notes on it. Indeed, this is a note door. This is a note door, sealed by Grunty with one of her powerful musical spells. Open it up then, Jam Jars! It's not that simple. To open it, you must collect the musical notes from the world. How many do we need? Gee, I wonder! Maybe the big 50 on the door helps? The combined total of all your best note scores from the world must be at least this to break Grunty's magic. Mm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. There we go. What I said from earlier. And this is the only spot where bottles will appear in Gruntilda's lair. Aside from the worlds. But I don't think those are actually in Gruntilda's lair. I think the gates to the worlds are just transportation devices or whatever. Hey, bottles! Knock, knock! Knocking on your molehill! Yes, it is dirt and not dog poop. Even though I like to think of it that way. So we get to do a little victorious dance every time we open a note door. And with that, we can now move forward. That door was easy you got past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. Alright, that's quite enough for this episode. So... Next time on Banjo-Kazooie, we will keep going through Gruntilda's lair and find more stuff and worlds to do. Laters!